Hey everybody, welcome to GTech, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Toner TC777 microphone. Uh, the company Toner reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a review on this microphone, so I just had to say yes. So this is honestly a really good microphone for the money. It's only about $40 on Amazon, and it's got lots of five-star ratings. It's honestly one of the number one sellers on Amazon for budget microphones. And the reason for that is because it's so affordable. Like I said, it's only about $40. But what does that cheap price tag say about the quality of the microphone itself? Is it any good? Well, before I get to audio tests, let's unbox the thing first and I can give you a rundown of everything that comes in the box. So when opening up the box, first and foremost, you're going to see your instruction manual, your warranty information, all that good stuff. Right on top, it comes with a little windscreen that attaches to the actual shock mount itself. It's got a very, very adjustable arm. Then we just get a little tabletop desk stand. The legs are metal and then it's got rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't slip and slide around your desk. And then we've got the microphone itself, which actually sits inside of shock mount. Now, mind you that the the shock mount is plastic and the microphone itself can move around a bit, but that's not really a problem. The point of a shock mount itself is so that the microphone can absorb vibrations better and you're not hearing a lot of like clacking and banging up against the side of the microphone. The microphone also comes with a little pop filter right on top, but if you take the pop filter off itself, you'll actually see the nice little mesh. Now this is a cardioid microphone, meaning it really only tries to pick up sound directly from the front, nothing really around the sides and the back which makes it really good for podcasting and gaming and voiceovers. Basically any scenario in which you don't want to be hearing the outside ambient noise. Now unfortunately, basically everything is constructed out of plastic, such as the microphone body, the shock mount, and the actual thread onto the metal stand itself. That's something I'm a little concerned about the long-term durability of is the plastic threads, but it uses standard sizing. So if you want to screw it onto something like a boom arm, you can definitely do that. Now to actually interface the microphone with your PC, it connects via USB 2 and a USB type A port right here. You don't need any drivers. You don't need any software. It's hundred percent plug and play and it sets itself right up. And that's actually really handy because a lot of people don't want to be bothered plugging a bunch of things in and setting up sound profiles. If you're into that sort of thing, you're not gonna be able to do any of that on this microphone. But if you're not concerned with any of that, then this microphone will actually be a really good choice for you. Now, the biggest stereotype with budget microphones is that they all sound terrible. They're either tinny, they're bass heavy, or they just sound muffled, and they're just kind of garbage quality. But I'm happy to say that the Toner TC777 doesn't have any of these issues. It's not tinny, it's not bass heavy, and it's got a very natural sound profile, which is actually really important if you're trying to do something like podcasting or voiceovers, where you want your voice to be as accurate and natural as possible. But don't just take my word for it. I've actually done quite a few audio tests to show you how this microphone sounds, and I've compared it to a few microphones that I've got laying around my setup. So let me roll those clips. All right, so now this is an audio sample being recorded through the Toner TC777 microphone, and I'm going to be comparing it against a few other options, such as something like a gaming headset. This is currently the Mod Mic 4 detachable microphone, which costs about the same. Then I'll compare that to something like a built-in webcam microphone on my Logitech C920 webcam. And finally, here's an audio test from my Audio-Technica AT2035, which is a much more expensive option that requires a separate audio interface to give it phantom power over XLR, which is a lot more complicated than the simple plug-and-play nature of the TC777. So I'll let you draw your own conclusions from that audio test. Personally, I think it sounds really good, especially for the $40 price tag, it's pretty hard to beat. And being a number one top seller on Amazon with about 3,800 reviews, I think they've got a good thing going for them here. So in the end, I want to thank Toner for sending me this microphone. I'm actually really happy with the quality of it, and I've actually got a couple videos planned with it, so this isn't the last you're going to be seeing of this. But otherwise, that's going to do it for now. So if you like what you saw, you know what to do, and if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to get subbed below, because I love making this stuff for you guys. And as always, have a good one. Honey,